Hello, we are making a video of how to turn on, program, and start the Wright Manufacturing Systems 920i. The first process, start by turning the switch on. It will power up the CPU. The CPU will come into a screen of run. If you're going to calibrate and show how the or tell the computer how to uh, what pound you want what your mix design is you go into supervisor at the supervisor menu there will be an add and edit key you press the add and edit key it's going to ask you for a mix ID number. The mix ID number is the number of positions that your mix design is down on the main menu. So you want to understand where your mix design is going. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, however far down the mix is. In this case, we're on mix number four. Okay? We're going to enter number four now it wants a name the mix name we're gonna call this is demo 2 the way that you get in to type the name is you push the up arrow key and it comes into the menu bar all of these numbers and here's a here's your cursor you're gonna use the right left up and down keys to type the name so we're going to call this demo 2. So D, enter. O, enter. Oh, sorry, didn't want demo, so we want to erase it. Over here, I spelled it wrong, so we hit the clear button. It clears the last letter. It's D, E. D, E. M O enter to get out of this oh we got to do demo 2 so we're going to do uh, we're going to call that demo 2 which you just simply push demo 2 to get out of this you have to bring the cursor all the way down and put it right behind demo 2 now hit enter it's going to ask you for the cement target. Cement, say we want uh, 560 pounds of cement. Enter that. The rock target, we want 1,750 pounds per yard of that. Enter that. The sand target, we want 1,450 pounds of that. Enter that. Enter the water target. Now, this is done. Water is in pounds. So, you have to calculate. If it's 33 gallons, there's 8.43 pounds per gallon of water. It's wanting pounds. So, we want 200 and 30 pounds of water. Enter that. The mix is now saved. So, we need to get out of the supervisor menu. We hit more and there's an exit key. Exit. Now, you're gonna see we select mix to start the program. There we are, four. Number four, it's demo two. That's what we're that's what I just programmed. We're going to take the up and down arrows, go to demo 2. Next thing it asks, press the amount button. So we come down to the amount and we want just 1 yard. We push 1 yard. Up on the target weight. It's asking to, it's prompting me to push start now. But I want to show that 
the values that I put in, 1,750 pounds, this is on a one yard basis, 1,450 pounds for sand, 230 pounds for water comes up. Cement target is 560 pounds. So it's prompting us for start. So I come down, I hit the start button. Now in this case we don't have anything in the bin so the light is going to flash saying that there's not enough weight in the bins. So I'm going to push start. Now watch. It says there's a problem. We don't have weight in the bins in this case, so the machine needs to read weight, or it will not work. In other words, if there's not enough cement, if there's not enough rock, or if there's not enough sand, it will not start. It will tell you not enough sand. That's the first thing it went to, and it read that there was not enough sand. If the sand was right, but there wasn't enough rock, then it would go through the sand first to the sand then see that there wasn't enough rock then it would say not enough rock and and same with the cement so to get it out of the program we either have to put the right amounts in or materials in but it will not start you cannot start it you have to push stop batch paused and you have to abort that batch in this case batch has been aborted 